All right, so this just came in. This looks like a brand new light, and that's exactly what it is. This is the new Sakani X60 light. So it comes in this soft uh, carry-on bag. You can actually take it with you on an airplane, and it's it's pretty well padded, and I feel like it's, it's a pretty nice quality case. So once we unzip it here, you're gonna get this in the bag. So you're gonna get this little reflector here, you're gonna get the light itself. And what's really unique about this light, guys, this is the smallest light that produces this much power. So it's an 80 watt light and it produces about 3000 lux at one meter away. And I'm gonna show you the demo footage of that in just a moment. Okay, so here we go, we have the honeycomb reflector here. Now this is a new type of reflector. If you notice, if you take a look inside this, this area here, you'll notice that there's a little honeycomb pattern and that's actually going to magnify the reflection of your light. Instead of just having one solid reflective piece, there's multiple little tiny, what I would like to say, kind of like mirrors inside and they look like honeycomb. So that's supposed to actually give you more of a boost of light and it's supposed to help you direct your light. So that's great how it's a honeycomb reflector, not just a regular boring reflector. Next up we have the AC power adapter for this light. Unfortunately, like other more professional lights, this thing cannot be powered off of a V-mount battery. Along with that, we get this 2.4 gigahertz remote controller. This will control things like dim, and it will actually control some of the special effects that come pre-programmed into this light, and I'll show you that in a moment. Back to the light, we have a solid aluminum build. This actually has the same body just shrunken down as the Aperture 120D and 120D Mark II. It's literally the same body, you see? Literally the same. Here's the 120D and the Sakani X60 light side by side. You can see the size difference. The Sakani is much smaller, but can it produce just as much light? And my answer is yes, almost just as much. You're also paying a fraction of the price of the 120D, but if you take a look at the LED chips, they're actually the same exact size. It just has a different amount of power going to it. The yoke is also much smaller and this yoke is great because it's compact, but when I mount a Fresnel lens on this light, it just slips. The yoke does not hold up. And by the way, this light also has a Bowens mount adapter, so any traditional softbox Fresnel lens or any other type of Bowens mount accessory will fit on this light. Just make sure it's not that heavy because this yoke is not strong enough to compensate for heavy accessories. Inside the light, we do have a cooling fan and heat sink. Now the cooling fan and heat sink is pretty loud. I would not recommend to use this light as a key light in an interview. but I just want you to know that this fan is definitely audible if you're setting it up near your camera or near your talent. On the back of this light, just as I mentioned earlier with the remote controller, we do have an LCD screen, and this screen will display your channel, your groups, and what that means is that we can have six different groups and 12 different channels, and this will allow you to control multiple X60 lights all from one remote controller. Another feature is that we can go down to 1% dim on this light. Most lights that are this small and this cheap can't do it. Right now I'm filming with my Godox. Uh, this is the Godox 60 light, I believe it's called. And it does not have the ability to go lower than 10%. And manufacturers do this because if a light is not designed to have minimal power going to it, then it can start flickering. And I think that's a great feature there. Especially if you just want a subtle hint of light, this thing can definitely do it. Now there are some special effects pre-built and programmed into the light, such as paparazzi, lightning, TV simulator, faulty bulb, and fireworks. These are all accessible via the back of the light's controls, or you can access these effects on your wireless remote. You can use the knob on the bottom of the light to control the dim and the frequency level with these effects. Now what I really want you to focus on is the amount of power that this light produces. Here I am standing about one meter or 3.3 feet away from the light. Here we are at 10%, 25%, 50%, Seventy-five percent, 
and 100. So as a key light, this light is extremely powerful and only sucking out about 80 watts of power. Now, if you do decide to use this light as a key, you definitely can't really mount it up with a thick or large softbox because the yoke is just gonna fall apart and slip. So I do recommend setting up a diffusion panel. This one here is rather large. It only costs about between eight to 10 bucks. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description box, so make sure you check it out. And all you gotta do is just mount it in front of the light and boom, you have your softbox or layer of diffusion. Now, when it comes down to the light quality of this light, it's been rated at TLCI 95, which is approximately a 95% rating when it comes down to color accuracy, which is great, especially for a light this cheap. Now, as I mentioned before, this light does have a few quirks, such as the yoke not being strong enough, the fan noise is pretty loud, and the inability to use a V-mount battery to power up this light. But this is Sakani's first light fixture made like this. And this just tells me that their version two of this light is gonna be absolutely kick-ass. So I can't wait till they come up with the version two of this light. But for the price, this is the best light on the market. I thought it was Godox, but now Sakani came out with this thing and they're absolutely killing the game. So if you're interested in this light, check it out down below. I posted a link in the description box. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.